हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट डीटी एंड नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट सो दिस इज द वीडियो अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट एंड नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट हियर आई विल राइट डी टी एंड दिस साइड आई राइट एन डी टी डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट सो दिस इज अ बेसिक वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई tell you about the basic differences between these two tests so the first difference is see destructive test is a mechanical test it's a mechanical test and it is done to evaluate to evaluate the properties of a material destructive tests are mostly done to check the properties of the material and what are the properties which can be checked so these are like tensile test sorry tens uh, tensile stress tensile stress yield strength or yield stress we can check elongation we can check impact strength we can check hardness toughness etc so these are some of the materials uh, some of the properties which can be checked through destructive test and one more thing i would like to tell you that these tests are quantitative in nature quantitative in nature when i say quantitative it means that these tests uh, these tests will give you an absolute figure an absolute value like if you perform tensile test then we will get the tensile strength in mega pascal like 450 mega pascal will get an absolute value that is quantitative in nature so most of the destructive test not all but most of the destructive tests are quantitative in nature and they give an absolute a value of the test so whereas our dist uh, destructive tests are done to check the usefulness usefulness or serviceability or service ability of the material and how it is done it is done by checking whether any discontinuity is present in that material or not so it is basically employed to check the soundness of the material and another thing that ndt non destructive tests are qualitative in nature qualitative here i mentioned quantitative but here it is qualitative qualitative means when we uh, check any material with the non destructive test we can simply say that it is defect free or it does not have any defect or it is having some defect but it doesn't give any value like here we get tensile strength of 450 mega pascal here we do not get any value only whether the material is sound whether the material is healthy or not we can only get this and one more thing one ba more basic difference is that see in destructive testing material gets damaged or destroyed material gets destroyed permanently or it gets mechanically changed mechanically changed so this destruction or damage is permanent in nature hence the sample the test object cannot be reused this cannot be reused whereas in ndt the material does not get destroyed no destruction no destruction hence the material can be reused after test this material can be reused here this material cannot be reused after the test so now we'll move forward and we'll see some other differences also
सी इन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट वी टेक सम सैंपल वी टेक सम सैंपल फ्रॉम अ मटेरियल और लॉट लाइक हियर वी हैव अ स्टील प्लेट लॉन्ग स्टील प्लेट सो इफ यू हैव टू चेक द टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस ऑफ दिस प्लेट विल टेक अ सैंपल फ्रॉम दिस प्लेट एंड विल चेक द स्ट्रेस ऑफ दिस सैंपल ओनली हिंस द इंटायर मटेरियल इज नॉट चेकड ओनली अ सैंपल वन और टू और थ्री सैंपल कैन बी चेकड फ्रॉम दिस टेस्ट एंड आफ्टर चेकिंग दैट सैंपल विल बी डिस्ट्रॉयड हेंस वॉट वी कंसिडर इन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट दैट द वॉट द वट एवर द प्रॉपर्टीज दिस सैंपल इज हैविंग दिस इंटायर मटेरियल विल बी हैविंग द सेम प्रॉपर्टीज दिस इज कंसिडर्ड दिस इज ओनली कंसिडर्ड दैट द प्रॉपर्टीज of sample piece properties of sample piece will be same as that of the entire material entire material where is in non destructive test the entire material the entire material can be checked hence here we do not need to assume anything the entire material we can check with the help of non destructive test and one more advantage is that the parts can be checked during service also during service also whereas we cannot employ in uh, destructive test during service we have to take the material to lab and then then only we can do the destructive test so these are some of the differences now we will move to the further and one more very important difference is that the data which we get in destructive test is reliable and accurate Re reliable and very accurate and also it is very useful for design purpose design purpose for example suppose if if we have to make a truss the design the designer will consider the load whatever load that truss will withhold and according to that load the designer will select the steel of suitable tensile strength tensile strength hence to select the suitable uh, uh, steel the designer will check the tensile stress of that steel and will do the selection hence it is very useful for design purpose and one more thing that the equipments the equipments which are used for destructive test are very costly are very costly and normally it is bulky also hence it cannot be taken to the site so these are equipments are bulky and expensive sorry here i to written expensive it is expensive whereas the destructive tests are quite cost effective these are quite cost effective and portable also we can take the machines to the site and we can check the soundness of the material one more thing the biggest disadvantage of of ndt is that operator skill the operator needs to be very much skilled then only a reliable data can be reached if the operator is not skilled if the operator is not expert or not experienced then we may get erroneous data hence we may say that it is operator dependent operator dependent many things depend on the operator if the operator is not good he will give you a bad result so with this now i'll name the few tests destructive test and non destructive test so some of the very popular destructive tests are tensile tests tensile test and tensile test 
is used to measure the tensile strength tensile strength of the material yield strength of the material elongation elongation of the material so these are the some some important parameters which you can check through the tensile test and to do the tensile test we need a universal tensile machine the second very important test in destructive test zone is charpy test charpy test so with the help of charpy test we can check the impact toughness of a material impact toughness of a material third one is hardness test friend there is a big debate whether hardness test is ndt or dt so if the material gets indented or any scratch during hardness test then that will be considered as dt and if there is no scratch then that will be considered as ndt now we will name the few ndt non destructive test methods these are visual testing simply by human eye penetrant testing magnetic particle test ut rt with penetrant test we can check the surface with mpt we can check the surface as well as sub surface with ut and rt we can check the entire volume hence it is called as volumetric nde and with vt we can check the accessible regions by our uh, by human eyes so these are some of the destructive and non destructive tests friend please hit the like button if you really like this video and share this video with your friends and colleagues thank you very much